So we wanted to uh, take this opportunity to show you another one of the cool features on the new website, and this one is all around employment. Um, so we have an employment feature on our website that where we're posting any jobs that are available uh, through our organization, but uh, this feature also allows uh, businesses uh, and organizations that have job postings throughout our community to put theirs in as well. So today we're going to take the opportunity and show you how. On our main website you're going to click on the tab on the left here that says employment and then we're going to go into manage your job postings. Just so that uh, you are aware this feature requires you to sign in and uh, so if you haven't created a profile yet uh, please check out our video on the notify me section uh, which explains how to do that. So at this point I'm signing into the website I'm creating my username and password um, or sorry, logging in with my username and password. I've got to make sure that I use the right password. And now I've logged in. So at this point now, I need to create my company information. Um, so you put your business name in here. We would put in our website information, um, our address, our, um, our contact information for the HR contact who's going to be handling all these applications that are coming in. Um, so their name, phone number, and email uh, information would go in here. Then right below we would have all of our terms and conditions. Feel free to read this in its entirety and once you have we're going to click on I accept uh, and register. This, we got an error message because we've done something wrong. In this one, we just have, a, have to have a space in our postal code, so we're clicking on that again. Uh, register, and now we've got our business set up. So now at this point, we need to create a job posting. So we're going to click on the little tab that we're adding a job posting. And the first thing it's going to ask us for is a category. So there's some that some come preset in here. You click the drop down arrow like I did, and uh, more come up. For our purposes, we're going to create a retail job, and it's going to ask us how long do we want to run this ad for and when does it start. So we're going to click on our calendar here, uh, pick the day, we're going to run it for a week. Um, currently, um, all of the ads, the cost to do this to, to our local businesses is free. Um, we have no intention to change that at this point. So uh, um, now we're going to go in, log in, create our position. So for the purposes of this one, we're doing a cashier. There's your spot for job ID if you wanted to uh, as an internal tracking system. We're going to create the description for the job. Uh, we're going to put in a salary. Is it full-time, part-time? Uh, the other thing uh, to note here as you're putting this information in, uh, all of this uh, info that I'm adding could also be copy and pasted from Word. So if you were doing multiple uh, job postings, maybe you're using another um, job site like Indeed or All Star Jobs that you could just copy and paste and put this information in. Uh, we're putting in any special requirements, our qualifications, and, and then just any miscellaneous information you wanted to add if there was uh, something that didn't fit in these boxes but you really wanted the applicant to see. So once we've done all that, we've got our information in, we're clicking on continue, comes up with this um, and asks us to post. Uh, like I said, again, there is no cost for it. Uh, and now our job is out there. This is now goes live on the website. Um, you see this in employment opportunities. So just to show you what it's like uh, for someone logging in, we've got, uh, they go to the employment tab, comes up, we have our municipal employment first, then you click on the community employment tab, you can see the ads in here. We've got our cashier one, we click on it, brings it up. All the information there is listed, who to contact, how to contact, um, our wage, uh, any qualification information we put in there, uh, and this is what people are going to see. So obviously this is a great tool to promote uh, not only to people that are currently living in Slave Lake or the region, uh, but people that are interested in coming. Um, we're coming to our website to see what's happening and uh, you know, have that feature that shows us um, what jobs are available is really cool too. Now, uh, at this point, uh, I looked at my ad and, and I noticed that I need to change something. I made a mistake. Um, or maybe the alternative is is that the job is full and I need to I want to get that posting off. So um, we're going to log in now again back to the website. We're going to um, use our username and password that we set up. This is kind of our back end uh, for our own stuff. 
Uh, you see when you log in ourself, uh, there's an extra tab here which says My Job Postings. I'm going to go and click on that and modify it. And now uh, I'm in my post. Um, so maybe there was a spelling mistake in here. Maybe there's some additional information I wanted to add. Maybe the rate has changed. I make my changes. I save it, post it again, and boom, it's live uh, right now. So we also have the option now at this point here on our tabs on the right that maybe we want to close the job. It's, uh, we've already filled it uh, and we want to close out and, and change the dates. Uh, right above here you also have the tab to renew. So maybe the job was already closed and we want to renew it uh, a week down the road, a month down the road. I wouldn't have to go input all this information again. I could just do it. So on this one we're going to close it out. Um, and now just showing you that you log back into community employment right away those changes are made uh, and it doesn't show up anymore. So as you can see as a organization or business there's another useful tool that gets out to people to say hey this is what's available in our region and uh, what's really great about it is it's free. So hope you take the opportunity to use this cool new feature and hope this video helps make your life a little bit easier.